Hey everybody, it's Cappy from Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana, and it's time for a What's New Thursday video. So here we are, Peter's behind the camera. Say hey, Peter. Hi, everybody. Yep, he's here today, and we're here today, and we hope you come see us today, too. It's just the funnest thing to work in this store. I can't even tell you. The fact that we get to come to work in such a great place is a real blessing, and I hope it's a blessing when you come in and visit us. So we're going to run through some fun stuff going on in the store. I really hope you come in and see us. Um, if you're watching this from a long distance, you can still shop online and follow these videos. We always show you what's going on fun in the store. So we're out in our Narthex, our entry area, where we have our giving tree. Um, our giving tree is a project that started in December, probably three or four years ago, we collected mittens. And we just wanted to keep the giving going. And so it's a, it's actually a tree that was started as a Christmas tree collecting mittens. And now we've kind of modeled it after Shel Silverstein's book, The Giving Tree. And we continue to collect things on a monthly basis to give to those less fortunate um, in our community. So this month, when we always collect two things, we always collect a food item for the Hamilton County um, Food Bank, which supplies all the food pantries in our community with food. So it's like a central location where all the food then is sent out to the different um, pantries. And this month we're collecting Chef Boyardee meat pasta dinners and they like the ones with the pop tops because sometimes people don't have can openers and they can't open the cans so the pop tops are nice because they don't have to have a, a way to heat the meal or open the meal and, and cook it so um, the Chef Boyardee ravioli with the meat in them are great um, any kind of pasta dish that has the meat but don't get just the plain pasta there's really not as much nutrition in those they want it with the meat in it so we're collecting those and for the giving tree we're collecting socks so this is kind of cool a customer actually mailed these to us through Amazon so that's still in the Amazon bag I love this they set up like a case of the Chef Boyardee um, pasta dishes as well as the socks through Amazon so they couldn't come in the store but they shipped them to us and I think that's so cool Peter's shaking his head yes I mean Thank you, whoever you were, it's anonymous, we don't know, but what a great way to support a ministry and um, help other people out. And gosh, how easy is that when you're ordering on Amazon, just add these two things and have them shipped to us. So we got those here and uh, we do this all, every time. In October, there'll be two new things that we'll collect. And um, it's an ongoing program that we'll, we'll probably be doing forever just because we open to make a difference in our community. And this is a good way to do it. It's so easy to, as you're at the grocery, pick up a little extra. And when you come into shop, drop it off here. And uh, we'll see that it gets to the appropriate ministries. So that's our number one thing. But we got lots to show you in the shop. So come on in and let's see what's going on. Okay, now we are inside the store, just inside the front door. And I'm at this new fabric line that everybody is just drooling over. Oh my goodness. When we ordered it, we knew Stephanie, our machine department manager, was going to love it, but we've all fallen in love with it. It is just the prettiest line. It's from Moda. It's from the Create Joy Project designers, and if we've seen their fabrics before, they're generally very bright colors, like reds and yellows and pinks and blues, and this, because it's called Desert Oasis, and did she ever embrace the desert colors? This is Stunning. I can't tell you how much we are in love with this fabric. Um, the, the layer cakes and the minis charms and the charms and the jelly rolls came in early and we've already sold all but one of the layer cakes because it's just the prettiest fabric. Um, the other thing when it came in was we noticed how well these So Hungry Hippie and Sally Tomato faux leather, the vegan leather or the, the vinyl if you want to call it that, matches this line to make bags. So I'm a bag maker. <laughs> I make quilts too, but I really love to make bags. And the minute this came out, I saw handbags. I mean, there isn't a single piece of this that would make a lovely handbag. This is actually a pattern, this tourist tote bag that has just taken our shop by storm. I know, Peter, you made one. I've made one. Um, um, 
one of the gals in my Saturday knit group made one. And Jessica made one. She works here. I've made, I think, four. It's just the best Nancy's pattern. Nancy's going to make a couple. Oh, yeah. Nancy. Yeah. Everybody's. She's got her fabric picked out. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's raging about this wonderful bag. Super easy to make. And it would really, the bottom of it made out of this vinyl with the top of it made out of the fabric in this line. You know, you could pick your vinyl piece here that you want to use with it. The brown looks great. This beige, that's just dreamy with it. Look how pretty that is right in there with that piece. And even this pop, this really bright blue is really pretty with it. So they put those here so you can think about that um, for, for buying the collection to use that way if you'd like. And then, I, I, I just can't even tell you how pretty this is. Oh, I think the one's already, no, this is my favorite. I think this is my favorite piece right here. I'm gonna pull out that one first. Look how pretty this beige would be with that. Isn't that elegant? That's really stunning. Or look at this piece with it. <gasps> That's the one. That's the one. So yeah, making a bag and quilts. Gosh, what a pretty quilt this would make. Um, the fabric has such a nice variation to it. It's almost like a batik. Um, it's not digitally printed, but this this goes the width of the fabric, so it's it kind of stops in the middle and turns. But look how many colors you get out of that. One, two, three, there's four. At least if you four. cut it lengthwise. Yeah, at least four colorways and kind of rainbows. That'd be great to get a couple and a half yards of right. to cut for borders. Well, and then if you're doing landscape quilting, look at that. There's your water, there's your ground, there's your mountains, and there's the sky. I mean... I'd love to do a binding too with that, having that yes. variegation on the diagonal. Wouldn't that be great? So these fabrics... Are, oh, oh, okay. The bag pattern that you just showed, yes. on the bottom it uses a certain amount of fabric, not as oh, much yeah. as the top. This would be perfect for that. Yes. Because you would have that... You have that variation. Yeah. Because you're only using part of the fabric. Right. Oh, you're right. That would be lovely. So, anyway, kudos to the Create Joy Project. Beautiful, beautiful line. This is not going to last. Um, we have some fat quarter bundles put together of it. So this is one fat quarter from every piece of fabric in the bowl, in the line. Four, six, eight... And we only have three of these available? 20, 20. Yeah, we've got about available? three of these available. Three left. Yeah, and we sell these at the per yard price. So they're not the fat quarter price. They're the per yard price. So it's, a, it's an inexpensive way to get a little bit of everything in the line to play with. And I think um, if, you're, if you're liking this line at all, call and get this fat quarter bundle because these are going to sell out. I, I know a couple staff members are going to buy them right away. So... Don't delay if you're thinking about wanting this particular fat quarter bundle. It's awfully pretty. Awfully, awfully pretty. I don't know why you say awful pretty, because it's not awful, it's a good thing. No, it's that's, it's that's it's awful. so pretty, it's awfully pretty because I feel awful that I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good recovery. Yeah, I don't know. That's a that's a turn of the phrase that's not very good actually. So no, we're hopping today. We are hopping. We have people come in, in the to door. shop and Sorry, drop I, off their machine for I realized, service. I watched the video one day and I realized I tend to look around, but I'm watching people in the background. So, well, we when you look to the right, we look to the right yeah, too to yeah, see who you're you looking, see who at, looking at. But we can't you, see them. No, because they usually hide. But they see we're on video, they hide. But we got people in the store all the time, so don't ever all be shy. the time. Don't be shy about coming in. You're not going to get attacked by what do you want, what do you want, what do you want, or ignored either. We we tend to try and be real friendly. So I'm always checking to see who's coming in the store because we got lots of friends. At the well, you might here. know them. I might, might know them. We might know them. Let's go here and look at this fabric. Oh, look, there's three or four of the staff all together. What's up, guys? It's a huddle. It's a huddle. It's a staff huddle. Okay. Staff huddle. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to hi, YouTube. Hi, everybody. Hey there. High level meeting. Yes. It is. It's, it's a high level meeting. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be in that meeting or not. Okay, here's some more fabric. This just came in from Minnick and Simpson Designers. It's from the Moda Company. This is actually called um, Sunrise Side, which is very strange. Sunrise Side. I wonder what that's about. I'm sure there's a story behind it. Um, but anyway, Sunrise Side. This is Minnick and Simpson, and they're super, super, super funny. I don't know if that picture shows. They're just the most adorable sisters. 
get a big oh, kick wait, out of them. On. That was out of focus. Okay, it's in focus now. It's in focus now. Yep. There you go. Try to keep it in focus. Try and This is a great um, kind of lens towards a patriotic line. I think if I was making um, Quilts of Valor quilts, I'd be all over this, especially for a, a lady. Sometimes the Quilts of Valor quilts are not very... Um, you know, they tend to be very masculine. So to have this for a lady's um, quilt of valor quilt would be really pretty. Um, we do have the layers, the charms, and the jelly rolls. No mini charms on this. So those of you who like those bitty itty ones. But look how pretty this is. Oh, now you know what I'm going to do with that. Make a dress. I would make a dress. It'd be really cute in a dress. Just a little, you know, A-line dress. But, a you know bandana. What? A bandana would be cute for puppy dogs. How cute would that be for puppy the holidays? Bandana. But look, look at that. If I cut that in a hexagon, how cool would that be? Anytime I see a mirror image, I automatically start wanting to turn it into English paper pieces. It's like a little Florida Liz it hidden is, in the paisley. It is. Yeah, there's right there. There's one of those little Florida Lee things. So um, lots of pieces in this. Really pretty. Great dot. Oh my goodness. You never go wrong with a nice dot. And it's, we need touch of vision again. So soft. It has a really nice um, nice hand. That's the word. That's a hand. The blues are sensational blues. in this line. Mm, just There's so many pretty. good blues. Pretty blues. And, they, and I love this kind of periwinkle blue against the navy. That's really pretty. Okay. And Let me look come at over this here. Piece. Yeah, look at these pieces here, Peter. Don't miss out on this one. Look at that one. That'd be pretty in a dress, too. Or a blouse. That'd be pretty for a fall blouse. I'm seeing like button down collared blouses for ladies in bright colors are popular, I guess, this fall. Not that, you know, we care what they say, but they say that they are. I like the range of blues, like you said. The one against the other, yeah, the dark the, against the light. That kind of, yeah, that kind of dusty blue. Next and then to it's the got navy. that accent red orange, orange Very red. Pretty. Very pretty. Good job. You know, they should design fabric. It's such a nice look. <laughs> yeah, they need, to, they need to keep their day job. They need to keep their day job because they're doing well. There's a good stripe in it, too. I'm always a sucker for a good stripe. That's a pretty stripe. Yeah, Again, stripes that aren't your typical stripe. They, it, yeah, I like that. And, you know, binding, that's going to make a really pretty binding. Uh, this would be fun for uh, tablecloths or napkin sets in your, in your kitchen. We've got one of our staff members here that this would just glow in her house. She's a red, white, blue kind of gal. Look how pretty that red flower. It's like a tulip, I think. Fun, fun, fun. So that's a great line. We're excited about that one. And there's, but wait, there's more. Don't, don't give up. Not yet. Come on over here. I'm going to show you this one. I'll take here. Bonnie, can you take that? So it's not priced yet. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you, dear. So now we have a flannel set. And this is so cute. It's called Cozy Up, and, um... Oh, that one looks like a sweater print. Doesn't ha, it? Ha. Doesn't that look like you don't even have to knit that? I could have a knitted bag, you and I wouldn't have, have to knit it. Well, and he could I do can this make the bag with knitting. the flannel. Is that Pharaoh? Would that be Pharaoh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's fun. That I didn't see fun? that before. Very fun. So this is called Cozy Up, and it's black and white and red, which is a great color for Christmas. These would make the best PJs. Oh, it's got PJs on there it's already. Got PJs. Or no, Hoodies it doesn't. and fleece shirts oh, and sweaters. Oh, my gosh. Look at the sweater. I want that sweater. You know what sweater. this would be fun in is in a knitting bag. I want to knit that sweater. You want to knit that sweater? Go for it. Yeah, this would be fun for a knitting bag. I think if oh you, you know. Oh, gosh. This is a great line. Cozy up from the Northcott Company. Look, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I love winter. So rather than being really Christmassy, this is a winter line. Yeah, this is winter. So you could, you know, take it in. I want those gloves right there. Oh, the sock monkey mittens. The sock monkey mittens. They look those like sock fun. monkey mittens. They do. they do. Big snowflakes in them. So this is beautiful. Um, again, I'm seeing pajamas for the family for Christmas morning. Rag quilt. Oh my goodness, this would make the best rag quilt. Now that one that would be cute in a rag quilt. I oh, agree. look! Look at this. See that piece right there? Where? That thing right there. That's that. Oh, that's that thing that hurling. Is it hurling? Curling. Curling. I love curling. watching curling. Curling is not the right word. Is it hurling? No, it's curling. You're right. It's I think curling. hurl is when you're at the bar and you yeah, drink hurl, too much. Yeah, hurling. is the wrong <laughs> word there. That was the <laughs> wrong use of the verb. Um, see, there it is. Okay, I got it open up. There's the hurling thing. I love watching and hurling. And there's look. There's a hockey puck. 
in hockey. So if you get a hockey player, wouldn't this be perfect? Look at the, the or ice. Or ice, yeah, ice. Oh, look, there's the Swiffer thing that goes with the hurling. Okay, I'm calling that the totally Swiffer wrong. The Swiffer thing? Well, don't they have like a Swiffer? Like they go or along. Or a broom. And they, they brush it. Is it a broom? They, a sweeper. They sweep sweeper. the ice. Well, I don't know. It looks like a Swiffer to me. Somebody's going to tell us, hopefully. Somebody's going to say, you ding-dongs. We need if a you're Canadian a curler, If you're a curler, we, tell us what the proper yeah, terminology the is. Cur yeah, those Canadians up there, are, you know, they'll, they'll go, don't you know you did that Norwegians wrong. And Norwegians and, let's see, who else Hey, I have it? I have some of that in my blood, so I'm not being dissing anybody. I, be careful. Um, okay, we, so the United States has a good um, curling team. Do they? Mm-hmm. I've never. I've, I've always been fascinated by it. It doesn't. It's. It's. It just looks like they're. They're using a Swiffer and pushing a big block of concrete down the ice. I mean, I don't, I don't understand it. I'm not athletic. I'm sorry. It's not my forte. Okay. Let's see where we've not been. Um, oh. Okay. Now we're gonna go see my favorite. Peter's favorite too. Let's go around here. Let's walk over this way. Hi. More staff being silly. Okay. This. I'm so excited about how we've done this line. You guys are going to just love this. So this is from the Free Spirit Company, Ooh. and it's the Morris um, and Company fabric, Morris, the original company. And this fabric, there are 45 bolts in the line. Holy moly, that's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fabric. So what we've done to make it affordable for you to purchase it is we're bringing in 15 bolts at a time. So this first 15 bolts are here. In October, we'll get 15 more bolts that go with this line. And in November, we'll get 15 more bolts because you're gonna want every single one. We've done fat quarter bundles. And again, these are priced at the per yard price, not at the fat quarter price. So there's 15 fat quarters in there for 50 bucks, which is a great deal. And 15 fat quarters, how much fabric is that? Uh, 12 would be three yards, so three, so 12 and three fourths. 12 and three fourths yards for 50 bucks, right? No, that's not right, four yards. Four yards, four and three fourths yards. No, three and three fourths yards. Oh my gosh, I should have figured this out. Math 15, is hard. 12, 12 fat quarters would be three yards, plus three more fat quarters is three fourths of a yard. So three and three fourths yards. There you go. Three and three fourths yards for fifty bucks, and it gets you everything in the line. Everything, everything. Now, there's some of this fabric that we had from a previous line that is in the blues that is being shown with this. This is actually from another line, but this just shows you the life of the the longevity of these patterns. You can see these are some of the same patterns. But now they're doing them in another colorway. So this is your colorway now. It's kind of the teals and the rusts and um, navy and pinks and beiges. Those are lemons. But see, here's the same fabrics. Look here, that's the same fabric that they did in a blue. Um, here it is in a navy and a this. This would the it, look up the William Morris Company as far as. Um, the history of, of their contribution to the textile industry. Um, it's, it was the mid-1800s, 18, late 1800s, that they really made a huge difference in how fabric was created and textiles were created, and it's, it's an amazing story. And, and here we are, you know, 150 years later, and we're still talking about their designs because they were so innovative. They started in... Um, uh, with the Tiffany glass, kind of the glass working area, and they also had a textile part of their industry. So just look that up if you're like wanting some information, Google it. You would be amazed at that story, and it, it really has driven the textile industry from that point forward. A lot of our better known artists, Kate Fassett, um, Tula Pink, um, probably Anna Maria Horner too, as well. Some of those people are still working with these textile designs as a basis for everything that they make. So interesting company, fascinating line. I would encourage you buy these bundles as they come out because we're going to do bundles every time we get a set and you'll be able to have all 45 pieces um, and would that make a stunning quilt. Oh, 
breathtaking. It would be breathtaking. Really, truly would. Pick out your favorite one and buy a whole yard or two of it so that you've got it for your um, borders and for things like that. But anyway, that's a fun one. I'm really excited to offer this fabric here. I think um, this this is my, my favorite right here. I just, oh, that just speaks to me. The hand on this is lovely too. It would work great in garments if you wanted to make shirts or dresses or um, you know, things like that, it would work great for that, too. So. Now, this little bundle is mine. I brought it out. It's not bundled up. Okay. So, let's see where we've been. Uh, cozy Up Fennel, Morrison Company. Okay, I want to show you one in our um, novelty area. So, we're going to pause for a minute and go over to novelties. So hey guys, we're back over in our um, novelty area. We got a couple customers shopping, so you know, just like anybody else, they're looking for that one piece of fabric that does just exactly what they want. We understand 5,000 bolts, it's hard to find the perfect one sometimes. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this corner. This primarily has our juvenile prints in it, but we also carry some novelty prints. You're gonna find Purdue, IU, we put them on the shelf together. A lot of times we come in on like after we've been closed and they're on opposite shelves. I think a little gremlin comes and keeps them apart. But we do support both. We are not biased towards one or the other. Purdue, IU, this Purdue panel, we get it in as often as we can. But Purdue P, this makes a great wall hanging or a back of a quilt or even just a quilt. Or just hang it. I'm telling you, this Purdue Pete piece does really well. So, if you're looking for something for your new uh, Purdue students, since they're all just back in school now, this would be a great thing to give them for Christmas now that they're um, officially a student at that college. So, um, we try and keep as many as we can. The college and the themed licensed products like this can be hard for us to get a hold of. So we get them when we can, but they sell pretty quick. Um, we've got lots of fun little things in here. Baseball, soccer, card playing, words, coffee. Um, the one that just came in that I think is super cool is this one. It's library books. So that purse pattern that we showed you earlier would make this really cute in a bag. Oh, that would. Wouldn't that be perfect for a librarian for a library book or a bag. teacher? You got a teacher. I mean, how fun is this? So it's just one bolt that has books on it. We get random single bolts in when I'm like, you know, that'll go really well in our novelty area. That's what this one is. But if you're looking for those novelty pieces for ice by quilts or for somebody who has a, a, a lifestyle that you want to embrace and, 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 you know, be part of, we've got pool, like stick pool. We've got beer steins. We've got clocks and watches and um, fruit and I mean we just got all kinds of fun stuff back here so check out the novelty area if you're looking for just that kind of different fabric maybe um, I know a lot of times we really want to gift quilts but you can't always find that fabric that fits the person um, we've got a lot of stuff bicycles cowboy boots just oh my gosh cats there's cats over there there's dinosaurs there's teddy bears there's outer space there it's just the sky's the limit ask us if we've got it most of the time we do so we try and get you covered out with all those kind of things i want to go back now to another department in the store and talk about a sale <gasps> so i'm in our backing area we've got a couple different areas for backing so I'm, right now i'm in where we have the shannon company's cuddle fabrics there are some other businesses that we carry some primarily it's Shannon but some of the printed ones we get are from like the Dear Stella company but this one we brought in from the Shannon company because we just thought that it was such a great one to have for those quilts of valor um, this is the the printed minky and we like the minky from the Shannon company because it has a really great texture to it and a durability um, some of the other companies don't make it quite as good as Shannon does so we, we pretty much are, are a holdout for the Shannon Company. But I want you to look how much of this we have. You know, there's, oh, probably 100 bolts here of different types of cuddle. This has really become the kind of thing that people really want on the backs of their quilts. This is a standard 60 inch width when you see a bolt this size. Those really tall ones there are a 90 inch back. So why would I want that? 
Why do you care that it's 60 inches wide or 90 inches wide? Because you don't have to seam the back. Holy moly. Um, I've got a quilt right now that I'm making that I actually considered using Minky, but I've decided I want to go ahead and use the fabric that matches the front um, just to use some fabric up. But these cuddles on the back of your quilts are the bomb. Um, sometimes, depending on how thick you want the quilt, you can even leave out the batting and just use the cuddle alone because of the density of this fiber. Um, these are great. I strongly recommend them for backs. You can get them, you know, if you need a 60 by 72 piece, you buy a two yard chunk and you don't have to sew anything together and you have no seams. So if you do have to sew it together, however, it sews beautifully. This works just like a cotton on your sewing machine and you can put cotton on the top and minky on the back without any problem. We do it all the time in here. Um, and they come in so many colors. So how do you have any quilts with minky on the back, Peter? I do. I made one and it's hanging in the shop. <laughs> you were waiting to take it down. Well, It'll be up there forever. It's one of those uh, <laughs> jelly roll strip quilts. Oh, okay, okay. I used Minky. It was cotton on the front, Minky on the back, and I used Batik for the binding. Oh my gosh. That's got every kind of fabric in it. And, and that so was my goal. It was a it was a, kind of a practice piece just to see how all these different materials play together. And how did they play together? I loved it. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. So don't ever think, oh, if I make it one, I have to put the other. I will tell you, you can use Minky for piecing, but you don't want to do teeny tiny little pieces. It's kind of hard. You need to use it in big chunks. Um, but it does piece. You can piece with People it. People make um, Christmas stockings out of these. Yeah. Um, you there was something robes. else that we had. Oh, the bath. You're right, the bathrobe. The bathrobe is just... A bathrobe is something else. It's yummy out of this. Scarves. There's a, a fox one down there that you can buy just about... I think it's you buy two yards and you can make like really pretty uh, twisted scarves out of that. There's a free pattern for that. Um, right here, we've got some of those free patterns. These are all Shannon patterns that you can use to make any of the... Use any of the cuddle fabrics. Here it is, the infinity scarf. You can buy just a little bit. And these are all free patterns. So these make great Christmas gifts. Um, there's the throw. There's the throw. That's just big strips. Here's a little baby blanket that there's you just pillow. wrap the fabric around the back. And this is perfect for those little ones because it's so snuggly and soft. Um, star pillow. All, this It's just amazing the things you can make with these. There's a pillow sack, pillow sham. There's a throw. Oh, here's a look. Here's a slice of cake pillow. Look at that. Looks like a oh, slice I of cake. Oh, I want the slice of cake pillow. I do too. That's really fun. So, if you're looking for a Christmas gift, Christmas gift. Oh, look. Here's a flag. Look at the flag. Now, how fun would that be for a veteran with that veteran fabric That'd on the back? That'd be fun. Wouldn't that be perfect? So anyway, don't hesitate. These are all free patterns. They're here for you to take as many as you need or want. Um, we just want you to come in and, and shop the, 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 the cuddle and the minky. It's, it's super. It's the time of year to start thinking about making warm things. But let me tell you, I'm going to go over here to the cotton backings and then tell you about a great deal. So we're going to go. take a little walk. Buy our batting. So if you're looking for batting, we got all kinds of batting. And then these are our wide bag. Oh, that's Emma. You showing them Emma? I'm showing them Emma. Emma. So this is a kit that we have. I think we have maybe one or two kits left of this Emma quilt. And it's beautiful. Oh, she's not been quilted yet, so she's still kind of not got her icing on her cake. But she's a, she's a beautiful quilt. So these are all wide backs back here. Some are 108 wide, some are 90 wide. For the most part, they're 108. There may be a couple of 120s even. Um, these are great because, again, you don't have to piece anything. There's everything in here from traditional quilting styles of, to really outrageous contemporary styles. They're solids. Um, these, along with the kettle, wide backs and actually any fabric in our store that's regular price that could be used for a backing on the fifth Saturday which is coming up September 30th this coming Saturday is the fifth Saturday <clears throat> and on the fifth Saturday we have a backing sale and that Saturday you can buy 20 at 20% 20 off a single cut 
of a backing fabric for the project that you bring in to show us. Now, let me let me translate that a little bit for you. What does that mean, Cappy? <laughs> what do I got? So what do <laughs> what I got to do? do? What do I got to do? So first of all, we want you to bring in the quilt that you're buying the backing for. Can I just bring in the quilt kit that I haven't sewn yet? Um. Or do I have to sew the top? Technically, I suppose you could bring in the kit. I don't think Bonnie would or Betty would let you buy, Bet get the sale Betty, on that. Betty, General Betty might kind of squawk <laughs> a little bit, but let me tell you why we want you to bring in the finished quilt top. We want to see it. It is a shameless. <laughs> this has nothing to do with with measuring your ability as much as it is. We love to see finished quilts, and we never get to see them. We sell thousands and thousands of yards of fabric every day, and yet we don't see finished quilts except the ones we make ourselves. And so the, I think part of the motive of having this back sale is we just want to see finished quilts. So if you bring in five quilt tops and you know, I suppose we could make an exception if you brought in a kit, but if you brought in five quilt tops ready to go that are waiting for backs and said, I want to buy backs for all five quilts, you can buy backs for all five quilts. And you can buy the the cotton backs. You can buy the cuddle backs. Flannel? Can you buy the flannel? You can buy if you flannel, want flannel if back. you wanted flannel. You could buy the regular 45 inch wide and you would have to buy, say, like if you're going to have to piece that, you need to buy typically four yards. So you'll have to buy it. Not We won't cut it into two pieces. You have to buy all four yards in one chunk. Um, but you could buy, you know, if you've got several quilts, you can buy several backs for them. And it's 20% off. Now that's part of our loyalty program and um, you can actually look up our loyalty program. This is kind of hard for you to see from a distance. These flyers can be dropped off. It's usually in our email. I'll make sure it's on our website. But we have lots of really good deals that we offer. There's a discount for your birthday month. There's uh, every day, every day, any day, we have an end of the bolt deal. It's not just one day a month. It's not Oh, only on the third Friday after the fall equinox when the when the sun's in the right part of the sky. Instead, our end of the bolt sale is every day. So if you find a bolt, you want to buy the whole bolt, and it has three yards or more on that bolt, we give you 30% off. If there's less than three yards on that bolt, you get 20% off. So you know what I'm shopping? Skinny bolts. When I'm looking for fabric, I'm shopping the skinny bolts that are on the shelf. If there's a skinny bolt, I'm going to buy the whole thing. And that's even better than the backing sale price. So if you come in and you see one of these backs that you really, really like and you know you make a lot of quilts, most of these wide backs, I'm going to buy three yards anyway. So this bolt doesn't have a whole lot on it. I'm going to buy the whole bolt and I'm going to get 30% off instead of 20% off. Now, we don't allow you to combine your discounts. So this is only on regularly priced items. Our clearance room that's already 40% off, I'm not going to double up that discount because 40% off is already a good deal. But we do encourage you to take advantage of our customer loyalty programs. Um, there's discounts on our sewing machines. There's uh, discounts for your birthday month. There's also in our email, we send out information occasionally. There's a coupon in there. If you're not signed up for our email, go to our webpage and do that. And then this YouTube video that you're watching. I mean, seriously, how much stuff have we given away, Peter? My gosh. <laughs> we, we, thousands and thousands we give, of dollars. We give a lot of stuff away. A couple other things about classes, and then we're going to call this a, a wrap. Um, Cindy's got a hand stitching class coming October 13th at 10:30 in the morning. Um, that's an all-day class. You can come and hang out with her. Bring your hand stitching. This is not a machine class. There won't be room for you to bring your machines, but rather this is like for crochet, knitting, cross stitch, uh, English paper piecing, something you can do while working with your hands because the room will be too full for machines. So we want to keep it small. Um, but there's door prizes for that. Please sign up. There's a few spots left and then it passes and people are like, I missed the chance. I don't want that to happen to you. So be sure you go to our website and sign up for that. And then another thing that's coming that um, we really want to support is our extension office. Um, the Purdue Extension Office has a sewing seminar. It's October 14th. This sells out. So if you've not got the paperwork and got it done right away, you may not get to go. But it's a sewing seminar. It's really, really fun. They do this every year annually at the local Extension Office Fairgrounds. And if you go to their website, you can get the information and get the form. They don't have an online sign up. It's kind of old school. You actually have to fill out the form and mail them your check. Um, but, but the information to contact them, this is also on our website. So if you're 
if I talk about anything in this, you're like, gosh, I heard her say that, but I don't remember how to get it. Go to our website first. That's your first point. Because most of the time, everything I'm talking about is on the website. But if you hear something, you're like, oh, I missed out. I need to figure out how to do that. Call our orders department, 317-776-4227. Or you can email them, O-R-D-E-R-S at alwaysinstitches1.com. Or you can email me, Cappy, C-A-P-I. It's like a baseball cap with an I on the end, the letter I at alwaysinstitches1.com. We will gladly get you connected. Shoot, Peter's even got an email if you want to send something to him and ask him. Um, but we're here to help, and we're here to get you connected so that you can stitch and sew and just relax and enjoy the fall season because, man, it's upon us. I can't even... Except for the pumpkin scones at... <sighs> Oh my gosh. Where is it? Panera? Panera. I'm having like a huge problem. What's wrong, Cappy? There's no more pumpkin scones at Panera this year. They're not bringing it. Now, that's what the barista told my husband. You know, maybe it's a ploy against me. <laughs> maybe. No, my, my husband would bring He's a good guy. He would bring me a pumpkin scone. I love... So don't go to Panera ex except, <gasps> er, uh, expecting pumpkin scones. I know. Well, I waited till the fall equinox so that it's officially fall yes. to get one. I, and I asked you every single week for the last six weeks, are you excited about your scone? Are you excited about your scone? Are you excited about yeah. your scone? And I was, I am. It's like, that's what hooked me on Panera. I never even went to Panera until I'd had a fall. I had a scone one time and I'm like, okay. And so now I love their iced tea. I don't drink coffee, but I drink iced tea. So anyway, we're going to be in mourning for the pumpkin scones that we're not getting this year. I have the recipe. And they turn out pretty good. I can make them pretty good. But, you know, it's just kind of something about driving through and saying, like a scone, please. And they just hand it to you, and, they, and it's perfect. And I'll just have to get over it. Whoa is life. So anyway, that's my big conundrum for that. Isn't that awful that the biggest problem I have is that I don't have a pumpkin scone? I'm I mean, blessed. that's a that's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. It is a problem. Because my problem. desk is catty corner to hers. <laughs> so you got to listen to me whine about so it. So if she's grumpy, man, it could be a potentially <laughs> bad <laughs> afternoon. It could be bad. It could be bad for everybody <laughs> in the back room if I don't get my scone. So you know what? That makes me want to know what everybody else is like. What's your favorite fall thing? Everybody's got a favorite fall thing. You know, yeah, they do. Pumpkin pie. I mean... It's not always pumpkin. Some people don't like pumpkin. Like pawpaw. So pawpaw is in Indiana. It's like an Indiana banana. Have you ever had a pawpaw? No, I've never heard of it. Okay, it's a pawpaw. It kind of looks, it's a weird little fruit. And it's from Indiana. And so there's like, you'll see pawpaws. They'll make stuff out of pawpaws. Or persimmons. You'll see persimmons. I haven't had persimmons. Persimmon, that's a Hoosier thing too. So, so let's talk about that a little bit. Why don't you comment what your favorite thing is. And let's pick somebody from those groups that says the most interesting thing. And, and we'll give you away something. I don't know. Maybe... What I think I want to do, I think I want to give away a $50 gift card. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give away a $50 gift card. Because then you can get whatever you want. You can get what you want. You can, you can get, get $50 want. worth of cross stitch or $50 worth of wool applique or, right. or backs. $50 worth of wide backs. Wide backs. Batting. Whatever you want. Thread. Thread. So comment what your favorite fall food is. So we'll say fall food. Let's just say that. Fall food. Or fall beer. Or beer. <laughs> Yeah. They do. They do make yeah. a pumpkin beer. I was out with friends Friday fall, night. Fall, they come out with special beers they in do. the fall. I was out with friends Friday night, and one of the guys with us, he ordered some pumpkin something beer, which seems weird to me, but whatever. He liked it. Um, so anyway, what's your favorite fall food? Or beer for Peter, but fall Yeah, food. beer for Peter. <laughs> your favorite fall food. Comment on that. We're going to give away a $50 gift certificate to, to whoever we pick from that group that's uh, got something that's really interesting. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. I know uh, you're out there because we get your comments and, and we see that you're there. So look forward to seeing you next week and have a super stitchy weekend. Bye-bye.